All right, so it is Christina and Cindy. We are Christina and Cindy. Yes. Not it, we are. Yes. And we are Adaptive Equipment and Caregiving Corner. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a YouTube channel that we would love for you to follow. Yes. You can subscribe to us. That's right. Corner Crew. Be a part of the Corner Crew. Um, Cindy and I are the co-founders of Adaptive Equipment and Caregiving Corner. We make videos, we make content uh, to show people how to age safely in place yep. and to show caregivers how to provide safe care, not only to keep their loved ones safe during the daily care, but also keep themselves safe while they are providing, providing the care yeah. and kind of help you know extend your caregiving journey because caregiving is hard on a body. It certainly is. Yeah. It certainly so is. we are going through the five tips uh, to prepare for knee total knee replacement surgery. We are on tip number four. Tip number four is gather necessary medical equipment. Yes. So yeah, there's you, a lot. There is a yeah, lot in that basket. Maybe some of the more common things. You know? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. A lot of times you'll go to a pre-op kind of meeting, mm -hmm. and you you will have a therapist talk to you about what types of equipment, but you know that gets kind of you know everything is kind of everybody's excited and you know yeah. worried and everything so sometimes it, it, it kind of passes over and you, mm -hmm. you don't remember what they said but the big things you know you're most likely going to need a walker if you don't have one um, most doctors will want you on a walker initially yeah. um, we always like to say uh, you know you need to check your toilet height because I'm gonna tell you even if you have a comfort level toilet height you need to check for you know do you have a good place to push off from because when you have one leg that has had knee replacement surgery mm -hmm. you're basically pushing yourself up pushing your weight up on your good leg yeah um, on, and one, if, leg, on yeah. one leg yeah. and if you don't have good handholds to help you most people can't do that very easily and then you put a little bit of pain on top of that and mm. it's not going to be an easy job yeah now, for those people who have a standard size toilet, which are, you know, the the ones that are very short, mm -hmm. you need to consider some type of a toilet riser with handles as well. Okay. You got to get up uh, because that, that knee is going to, it's going to take a little bit to bend it and mm -hmm. it's not going to be something that you can use right away yeah. uh, to help lift yourself up off the toilet. Yeah. Um, you also want to um, consider, you know, your, your comfy chair. Yeah. Where are you going to sit? Because I'm going to tell you, if your seat's too low, again, just like the toilet, it's going to be very difficult to get out of. Yeah. So, you know, where are you? Where have you been sitting? How low is it? Are you going to be able to get up? If not, you may need to look into furniture risers. Mm -hmm. um, you may need to, you know, prepare for a different place to sit for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you got to get that level up, and it really needs to, really needs to be up in the 17 to 19 inch range as mm -hmm. far as the seat height. Yeah. Um, it could even be, depending on your height, even taller than that, just yeah. to get up comfortably. What would you say with that that range, that 17 to 19 inches? Would that be? Would that go for toilet height as well? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. most of the comfort height toilets are, are in that range. Okay. Um, but again, if you're a tall person, that mm -hmm. still may not be tall enough. Right. Okay. Um, you may want to consider if, if you don't have a toilet riser, you may want to consider a bedside commode frame over your toilet. At least because, for the initial period, yeah. the recovery period. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, and of course, the bedside commode then could be used by the bedside at night if yeah. you can't get up and you know get to the bathroom very easily. Yeah. And bed height. Bed height. It bed can height, be an issue too. Yes, it can also be an issue. So yeah. you need to make sure that you're going to be able to get into that bed comfortably. Yeah. It's going to be a little tough with the, the, the knee surgery. Um, a lot of times we'll suggest a, a leg lifter yeah. uh, to help get that leg in and out of the bed. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we're talking bed height, comfy chair height, toilet height, big, big things. Addressing those, those are the top three yeah. areas that we recommend. Yep for a, a successful transition back home. Right, because right. you don't want to get stuck in your comfy chair and you can't get out. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Or, or get stuck on the toilet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you'll be talking to the therapist and they will have you do, if you have stairs into your home, they're gonna, they're gonna go over that with you yeah. at the hospital uh, to make sure that you're gonna be able to get up uh, and down those steps. Yeah, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. Ask your surgeon, ask, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, when after you know after the surgery, 
ask them about that. It's, right. you know, they, they are a wealth of information. Right. They do this all the time and they will have some really good recommendations for you.